I've heard that John the Baptist may have lived with the Essenes. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Um, John the Baptist said that he was the one to fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah about the voice crying in the wilderness. Again, the Dead Sea Scrolls that predate John say that they had to go to Qumran uh, to escape the apostasy forming in the temple. They just, you know, pulled themselves away from it. So they probably would have tried to exterminate them, except the war broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And the Essenes, you know, kind of sit back and laugh at them. If you go to the Essene camp, you would be attacked. All Essenes carry weapons. So it would be suicide to attack Qumran. You know, plus the fact you've got the Romans occupying the area. If you try to attack a city, anybody trying to attack a city, the Romans would destroy you. That's why the Romans are there, to keep the peace. So with the Essenes staying by themselves and heavily armed, and the Romans going all around heavily armed, the Essenes are pretty much okay because they stay out of politics, basically. They just wait for the Lord to come. Pharisees and Sadducees still tried to kill each other, but they had to be careful because of the Romans. So with all those different parties, it kind of pulled together. But anyway, their writings say that they went to Qumran to specifically fulfill that same verse. And they said one from their order would fulfill the passage in Isaiah about a voice crying in the wilderness to prepare the way of Messiah, who is our God. Um, and then you've got John the Baptist baptizing in the Jordan. The spot that he baptized is eight miles from Qumran. And so there's a whole lot of things like that. Uh, the early church fathers talked about John running a school. doesn't say it was the school of the prophets, but he was teaching prophetic doctrine. He was connected with Qumran. Uh, they were the ones that kept the library of the school of the prophets. So it's all connected together there. And there's a whole lot of other things we could talk about. But yeah, I, I would say it's a very, very safe bet uh, that John the Baptist was in the scene.